Okay, I'm going to zoom out, I guess, just so we can have the have the cube. And um, I'm worried that the tape got unsticky overnight as I prepared for this. But so, if we were going to do this with a cube, so a three element set, what's our three element set? So A B C. A B C. Okay. So I'll just call this the empty set. I fold it. Yeah. Don't, yeah. Well, just put them put them on the sides, okay. and if they stick, they stick. If they so don't, they don't. This follows the empty set. Okay, so what's the idea, <laughs> before you start sticking the other uh, piece of tape on, what's going to be your idea? here? So you've got three directions here, and one direction I'll correspond to adding A, one direction to adding B, and one direction to adding C okay. to your subset. Alright. So, I'll say this ball is A, so this, this direction is what you add A. Okay. This ball is B, this direction you add B. Alright. And then this wall down here is C. Ah, okay. Well, good. I'm, I'm glad you're explaining this well because I don't think the letters on the tape are showing up as well as I thought. But that's okay. So we got A, B, and C. Okay. And so what happens now? Well, so from our previous example, we know that this ball is A, a B. Okay, why? Okay, you, explain you add that. A, you add B, but you don't add C. Okay, so what direction is adding A? Adding A is moving toward the camera. Okay. And then B is moving. So tell me the two different ways that this becomes A, B. So you move toward and then to the right. Okay. Or you move to the right and then toward. Alright. So it's A, B. Okay. Um, so there's two other points that work like that. This point down here is B, C. Because you move in the B direction, and then down in the C direction. Okay. This point down here, right here is AC, because you move over in the A direction and in the C direction. Uh -huh. And then this last point has to be ABC, because you move in the A, the B, and the C to get there. Nice. Nice. Okay. So does this make sense? Yeah. Okay. Cool, and um, I don't I don't know if you remember this or not, but there was a time we did a project um, about looking at a cube uh, sliding not on it not on its faces through a plane, but actually on a corner. Mm -hmm. And so, if the first corner was that null, the empty set, we would hit just one point, and then when we slide, the plane slides up to the A, B, and C and hits those at the same time. How many points do we have there? So that's three points. And then when we hit the A, B, A, C, and B, C? Three points. And then finally the A, B, C? Just one. Okay, so what's that pattern? It's Pascal's triangle. Okay, so there's Pascal's triangle hiding in here as well, which is pretty amazing. Okay, so now we're going to go to the four-dimensional cube.